So my buddy Matt came by and introduced me to a deck builder game called For Glory. To be completely honest, deck builder games have never really been my jam. Maybe it's because my only experience is with Magic the Gathering, which personally I'm not a huge fan of. Now, according to the Google machine, Magic is a trading card game, so go ahead, correct me in the comments, tell me I'm wrong. Either way, this video isn't about Magic or my feelings about the game or even what it is or isn't. This is about For Glory. It's the game of gladiatorial combat and deck building by Alex Wolf and Spielcraft Games. And it's really, really fun. I'm John, and you're watching Dragons and Flagons. So I have a in-person role-playing game session going on every Thursday where a good group of friends of mine come over and we play some games. Currently, we're finishing up Curse of Strahd and getting ready to start a homebrew world that one of the other players is going to actually run. Fantastic. On this fateful evening, the stars aligned and everyone was magically busy, so we couldn't play Curse of Strahd. But... Matt was available, and so was I, and, and he offered to bring over a new game, and I didn't want to waste a good evening, and I love trying new games. Okay, I want to pause here for a second to tell you a few things about myself. First, I've never been a fan of gladiators. Ancient Greece is interesting, but it's never really been my thing. I'm sure I'm going to lose some nerd points for admitting this, but while others were dreaming of kicking the enemy down a hole in the ground, I was quoting Gandalf. Next, like I mentioned before, I don't really have a lot of experience with deck builder games. Ultimately, that comes from a lack of drive to play them. I do love playing games. So I'm more likely to grab Risk or Catan or, or something along those lines than a deck builder game. Yep, more nerd points are lost. So when Matt showed up with For Glory, I was in no way prepared for how fun this game would actually be. While setting things up, he told me how this was a pandemic purchase and he was looking for fun games to play with his kids while locked in the house. I had a few of those myself, but more on the selfish side, not necessarily something to play with the family. Which makes me wonder, did you buy any pandemic purchases, Kickstarters or not? Um, leave, a, leave a note in the comments. I'm genuinely interested. Back to the game. Sorry about that. Tangents. While he was setting things up, he was giving me a high-level explanation of how the game works, and within less than 10 minutes, we were ready to try. He could have explained more, but I'm more of a hands-on, let's just play this game, we'll learn as we go. So, actually, the first round of the game, I laid all my cards out like I was five and said, you know, what do I do? Anyway, I'm not going to go into great detail about the rules or actually how to play the game. There are a ton of videos out there about that exact topic. But I will explain on a pretty high level about the game so you can get an understanding of what I'm talking about and the way I feel about this game and why. Um, if you're looking for a how to play video, sorry, this isn't the one. Sorry you made it this far. You'll, you'll get through it. Anyway, so this game, you are a Lanista. Um, basically, you're, you own a gladiator school, um, and you're building up the school, and you're ultimately pitting your fighters against your rivals for the glory. Hence the game. Um, I'm terrible at remembering names of things, so I apologize in advance. I'm not reading from the rule book. I don't really have a great script that I'm going off of, just general concepts and things, because I wanted this to be more of a free-form these are my feelings, the thoughts that I'm having. Again, the object of this game is to win glory tokens, six of them, if I remember correctly. And the only way you can do this is to win fights. Pretty simple. The game is broken up into two different phase phases. Uh, there's the purchase phase and there's the fight fighting phase. They have technical names. I believe it's arena and machination phase or something along those lines. But for the purposes of this, we have like the pur purchasing and preparatory phase, as well as the other phase to the arena phase where you're fighting, the fighting phase. Again, I'm horrible at remembering these things. So the first phase is where you buy stuff and get things set up and just has just as much strategy as the second phase, which is the arena part where you're fighting. Um, each player gets a starting deck, which I believe, if I remember correctly, they are the exact same deck which is great. 
from there, you use your money to purchase other things um, that you believe will be useful in your future fights. Some of those are gladiators, there's economy cards, and training. There's three different little piles that you, you work from. Uh, gladiators are pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much they are your fighters. Each one does something different and has a different cost, which is really nice because having those differences really expands the game. It's not just you have a fighter. They also have movement, they have hit points, and they have defense. Uh, the higher the movement, the higher the initiative, so you get to go first or second. Um, but to pay for all of this, you will need money. The economy cards provide that. You can get coins and you can buy other things that will help you earn more coins or things along those lines in the future. Um, they also provide you things to help you buy or help push the gladiators out. Um, they're called patrons. I believe that's what they are. That's the number, that's the word that pops in my head, and that's what we're going to go with for now. Um, these are required to bring gladiators into the arena, these patrons. So uh, specific patrons have two or three of this little symbol, and some gladiators need one or two or, or three or whatever it is to get out into the field. So you have to match up a patron with a gladiator to get them out there. Um, finally, after all that, that's the, the economy piece. And then we've talked about the gladiators. There's also the training cards. They're kind of special features, ability, maybe feats, uh, depending on what game you're coming from. But th there are things like, hey, uh, plus two to all attacks in this battle or uh, kill the other guy's patron so they can't put a gladiator out. Those type of cards. Uh, so you have these three different sets of cards. You have your own cards, and then you can purchase other cards and get things into your hand so you can continue cycling through. So as you're buying these gladiators and, and spending your coin and picking up extra little things, you're putting gladiators out. You're buying those and you're spending your tokens and coins at that point. Not tokens. You're spending your coins to put your gladiators out into the play field, all in preparation for the next phase. So you're doing all this in the first phase of the game. Uh, like I said, I believe it's called the machination phase or something along those lines. But once you have all of your things purchased um, and even gone so far as putting gladiators out in the arena, which is the which is actually how to trigger the next phase, those gladiators are put out there. They each have a value on them. Um, you're riling up the crowd in some way. I think it's a bloodlust of some sort. And once the crowd's bloodlust gets high enough, the gladiators, if that gladiator's number, all the gladiators on the, on the in the arena, yours and your opponent's, when their number, their bloodlust number, and I think it's bloodlust, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, uh, if that bloodlust number equals to the arena number, then the, the fighting starts, equal to or exceeds. Um, and then that fighting round begins during the fighting phase. You get to use all of your cool gladiator powers as well as all the special abilities that you purchased in in the, the purchase round. Um, you combine all the movement speed to figure out who goes first, what's the initiative order, and then you just, you attack. Uh, you tap your cards just like in magic and uh, you, you, you move forward, they defend, um, all the special abilities go, you add little blood tokens when you hit people and they, they, the, the gladiators get these little blood tokens on them until they die. And then the last person, last person standing wins. And you get all the glory, the glory tokens. You keep going through this until someone wins six glory tokens. So you do the purchase phase and then you fight. And then the purchase phase and then fight. And then eventually someone's going to have glory tokens. Um, enough of them to call it a day. That's why they say it's 45 minutes, an hour. What's the box say? Two hours, one hour, something along those lines doesn't matter it's you keep going through this cycle until you have that i'm not doing this game justice by the by the word salad that i'm spitting out here but believe me when i tell you this is a lot of fun there are a ton of cards and each one does something fun and exciting and new sure with any game you can go through and read all the cards and figure out the most optimal way to get the cards, wait, cycle through things, whatever you got to do to figure out the best strategy. But really kind of the fun is going in blind or sort of blind to have an idea. You want to have an idea of what's going on, but you don't necessarily want to know everything. Um, 
within time, I can totally see the ability to kind of learn and understand every one of the cards, know what's coming and things along those lines, which is completely reasonable because there's a lot of playability with this game. Um, from my understanding, there's also a solo version as well as a four player version, but we played two players and we had an expansion pack and I don't know the name of it, but it gave us these cool extra gladiators that we could upgrade um, and then finally add them to our deck if we wanted to. But um, maybe uh, eventually I could see expansion packs for this. I don't know if for Glory or, or, or Spielcraft Games or even Alex Wolf or anybody is putting out expansions. Um, I think it would be wise if they did. Uh, I would like to purchase those. I don't think it would be wise if they do what other card games that I know of do where they every six weeks put out another deck. Um, it seems a little excessive, um, maybe a bit of a money grab, but that's just me. Anyway, this game, I'm, again, I'm not doing it justice, is a ton of fun. It was a lot of fun just to hang out with a buddy, play some cards, not have have enough rules to keep it interesting but not so crazy where it's off the wall you got this special card because you purchased it or you paid too much money for it or you you for whatever reason you've acquired some card that i'm never going to be able to get or i don't have the passion of the drive for it's all contained within this box we understand all the rules we get it and we can play it and it's a lot of fun from that aspect it's um an even fair playing field Granted, I don't think there's tournaments around the world. I'm not going to Vegas anytime soon, as far as I know, to play for glory. But for a fun evening, um, either with a kid or a friend or whatever, or potentially even by yourself, I highly recommend this game. There's a lot of replayability to it. There's a lot of fun. It, if they have expansions, go for it. Let's do that. Um it's just, it's a quality game. I don't know what else to really spit about this thing um, other than I just thought it was a lot. It was a good time. Uh, I highly recommend this one. If there's more information that you want to know about this game, I'm happy to either dig it up, put it in the comments, or potentially even make another game on it or another game, make another video on it. Uh, I did record the game that we played, Matt and I. Um, it's not the most exciting thing to watch to people go back and forth while they're learning how to play this. But if that's something you're really interested in, I can post a two hour long video and maybe it's something you can sleep to. Either way, I'd love to hear your opinions. If you've played this game, I again, don't critique me on my uh, high level overview of the funness factor of a game that I'm not digging into the rules on. There's other videos for that, but I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Do you enjoy this game? Are there better deck builder games that I, I mean, I'm, I'm sold. I think I'm going to start playing some deck builder games. I'm going to have to go find them and buy them. So tell me about those. If you, if you know of other cool ones, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, I'm just dipping my toe into this world. So yeah, tell me about the deck builder games. Um, what are other cool expansions for this? Is there anything that you've done or played with this game? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Or is this game garbage? Are there much better games out there that I'm just unaware of? But for the two that I've played, hands down, this is the winner. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up again play games, have fun. That's the point of all of this. If you're not having fun, don't do it. So until next time, have a good one. See you later.